Hey guys, Mixel there. Today we're going to benchmark Gigabyte GeForce RTX 370 Eagle. In the test system, I have a 8700K uh, paired up with a 370 Asus Strix E Gaming motherboard. 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance 32 megahertz RAM. Cooler Master uh, Master Liquid 240 RGB cooler and uh, 850 watts power supply. Uh, as you can see on the picture, this is my PC, so I'm going to test all in the closed case to uh, measure the temperatures as well. Uh, first up, we are uh, taking a look at Battlefield 5. I'm going to play in uh, 1440p. Of course, all at ultra and uh, maximum frame rates. Uh, no uh, VSync because I'm playing with uh, G Sync. And I'm also going to test with uh, RTX on in this benchmark. Just going to measure uh, the frames uh, by average frame rate, uh, not down the low and uh, middle. So you can see here, it's about 85 to 90 FPS at all time, uh, but it spikes well over 100. Uh, also, so that's good. And if you take uh, on uh, uh, RTX or VXR, uh, you can see the performance. It's it's, it's notable. Notable. Uh, we are getting about 60 to 70 FPS at all time. So you lose about 30 to. 40 FPS with the ray tracing on, but you can see here it's uh, it's not so noticeable. But uh, you can see in the water there, it's uh, much clearer. In the flames, so it's uh, it's a nice feature. But if you think about the um, previous generation of graphics card with the RTX, uh, of course, the, this one is so much better. Uh, it's a par on uh, the RTX 2080 Ti, but this card cost about $500, it's much better value for the money. And for a card, of course. Um, next up, we are testing Age of Empires Definitive Edition, Age of Empires 3. Of course, everything on max. Uh, this game is not optimized, I think, for higher refresh uh, yeah, gaming, but yeah. you see, it's all about. Yeah. 120 to 144. That's my uh, monitor maximum Hello. refresh rate. Uh, so it's uh, quite good here, but also yeah. it's a 15 year old game. So yeah. I think. So. Verstanden. Yeah, richtig. Verstanden. This is nice. Um, next up, we are playing uh, Call of Duty. Warzone. Multiplayer. Um, everything is on uh, max, but also the VSync is turned off. You can see here uh, it's about 140 to 130, 40 uh, FPS at all time. 
very smooth experience. Here also we have ray tracing, but the ray tracing here is only on the shadows, so it's not so uh, noticeable in uh, performing hits when uh, you turn it on, because in uh, in the daylight the the shadows is not so uh, noticeable. So actually, it's not so many performance hits actually. So you can see uh, 10, 10, 15 percent. No, 10 to 15 FPS uh, lower than if you don't have the RTX on. So it's okay. Uh, next up, I'm trying uh, PUBG. 1440p, everything on max. Um, or ultra. So you can see the game has finally uh, get uh, the frame rates you want in this, in this <coughs> game. So we have uh, 120 to 140 FPS. I noticed in this game I had some frame drops, um, but I think that is just the game, not the graphics card. But, <clears throat> but it's a smooth experience. Uh, so bad this is in this game. Uh, now and uh, the last game I'm testing uh, is um, Control. I'm going to take first with the uh, just uh, regular. Uh, not any RTX stuff or DLSS, but uh, just regular play, uh, everything on high. And you can see here, we have about 80. 90 FPS, it dips uh, to 70 FPS sometimes. And now I'm going to turn on the ray tracing on high. You can see now the performance is hitting very well hard. Now we are in 40, around 30, 40, 50 FPS. And you, I uh, think it was not so smooth in uh, gameplay now. It's uh, lagging a bit and uh, stuttering a bit. Actually. Now I'm going to turn on the DLSS, and then we get about 60 to 70 FPS again. And then uh, it's okay. It's much smoother, but of course the visuals is uh, incredible in this game. The last uh, thing I'm going to show you is the temperature. So we can see here, uh, I'm using a uh, Heaven benchmark to stress test the, the GPU. So you can see the the fan on the MSI uh, afterburner. The fan is about, now it's 60, uh, but between 50 and 60. 
and the noise it's actually quite uh, good I can't hear the, the graphics card now because my CPU is, uh, is more uh, louder uh, and the uh, GPU and you can see the temperature is about 64 65 degrees so it's an okay uh, card I, th I think um, my conclusion in uh, this benchmark is uh, is a great card for the money I think you get uh, the 2080 Ti performance for 500 500 dollars i think um in usa um i have no issue with it um actually uh i had uh, a 1070 ti from gigabyte um that was much louder uh, than this card I noticed uh, the back plate on the 3070 is um, steel, so it's a much better cooling solution on the this card than my previous 1070 Ti card. But uh, still, the the shroud is uh, plastic, so it's feeling a bit cheap. But overall, it's an okay card for the price, I think. So uh, my conclusion is, it's a great card uh, for the money. Uh, subscribe for more content like this and uh, I see you in the next one.